Okay, Mark Allen, uh, first hurdle out of the way, you're uh, through to the next round of Belfast, you must be quite happy. Yeah, very happy with that performance, especially after the very edgy first frame that I threw in there. It was felt good all day and then just felt a bit edgy as like time approached, just being defending champ in my home time where I haven't sort of got the best of records. It just those those weird memories came back to haunt me a little bit and then yeah, one 0 down. Even though I'd lost that frame I felt settled then. I got a frame like frame out of the way. I felt comfortable on the table then and I played really good stuff after that. And safety really improves and yeah, I think I only missed one pot in the last four frames, so it was really good. And in terms of your form for the last month has been excellent. Um so that's something you want to try and, you know, click into gear as quick as you can here. Absolutely. And I'm hoping like I've obviously showed signs in the past where I'm you know capable of winning tournaments and my form has been good here and there, but I'm hoping with my weight loss and stuff that it becomes more consistent like that. You know, that I'm hopefully producing that weekend week out instead of just maybe once or twice a season. So that's that's really what I've done it for amongst obviously health reasons as well. Yeah, I was going to ask because you see someone like John Higgins has done it. Obviously, Ronnie's big into the health. Fergal O'Brien would talk about how he keeps fit, running he's and celebrating. Machine, isn't he, Fergal? <laughs> so is is it is it mental? It's obviously physical as well, but is is there a mental fitness, the stamina that goes with it? Yeah, definitely. And I've obviously speaking to Roddy there off camera, and like a couple of times at the Worlds, knowing those long matches, those long sessions, I've felt a little bit exhausted coming out, and I'm hoping with losing you know, the weight I've lost, that'll help me in those longer matches as well because. It's all right in the short sprints and stuff like that. It's not. It's not too, sort of exerting, but those long ones at Sheffield in particular, like they're really mentally draining as well, and that's something that I definitely needed to work on. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me about the crowd tonight, because I mean, I was upstairs for a little while when when Ronnie started them, and you come on, it was standing room only. There was there was absolutely loads of people in there. Yeah, it's good, and look, it's obviously being defending champs going to sort of bring more people to watch, but. I've always been really, really well supported in this event whenever I give them nothing to cheer about. You know, year on year, losing first, second round, it was never any fun, but I've always been really, really well supported. And you'll see the same tomorrow for Jordan Brown. You even seen it this afternoon for the two young boys, Robbie and Joel, that were playing. You know, we always support our own, and that'll be no different for anyone else. Yeah, absolutely. Snooker is, is, is doing well in Northern Ireland with the, the kind of consistent players you have. There's never not a player from Northern Ireland doing well, but there's certainly a good number that are, uh, are threatening to really compete. Yeah, and... Uh, I think it's just testament to how we do as a country, you know, in, in any sport we sort of punch above our weight. You know, you see the golfers doing really well, some of the boxers, even Ireland and Ulster rugby do phenomenally well. So, yeah, we always do all right. So it's just, I'm flying the flag at the minute and hopefully, and obviously Jordan's right behind me now. So obviously winning the Welsh Open. Uh, it'd be nice if someone like Robbie or Joel could, could come through and get on those pro ranks because they could do a bit of damage. Yeah, and do you feel, uh, well, I suppose you, you do, you feel an element of trying to bring those players through as well as concentrating your own game or is that part of it? Yeah. I think it's part of it. No, I, I'm a proud Northern Irish man, and I'd always do anything to help you know, the juniors back home. But I don't mean to sound harsh, but you're never thinking that when you're playing. Mm. No, you just concentrate on what you do, and if you're able to inspire a few people along the way, brilliant. And obviously, with Robbie and Joel both playing in the same club as me, you no, know, I'm always there if they want to pick my brain and ask about certain shots or scenarios. You no, know, I'd always ha- help them in that way. And and Jordan's the same. You no, know, Jordan, Jordan's obviously been one of my best friends for a long time and we talk about snooker a lot and he's always the same with the young boys he's always willing to give a, a helping hand so yeah anything we can do to help not just Robbie and Joel but any junior trying to do well in the sport from Northern Ireland will always help as best we can yeah 100% just the last one in terms of uh, sort of the mechanics of losing a, a bit of weight in terms of how you actually play the game Does, do you have to adapt your game to it I'll be honest it was hard whenever I started back practicing and I, I'd only lost two and a half stone at that stage I had about eleven weeks off after the words, and yeah, it was, it was strange because I felt like I was queuing on a different path. You no know, queuing more. Sh- I know it sounds silly because you're meant to do this, but queuing straighter because my belly wasn't in the way as much. I felt like I had to adapt the other way over the years trying to go out and around my belly, and now I've lost like nearly close to five stones, so I'm constantly just adapting all the time. And my game's not where I want it to be just yet, but obviously the signs are good. And does that mean like better technique, more control of the ball, more power in the shots, or just more comfortable at the table? No, I, like co- consciously, I was like thinking of my shirt hanging out and my belly hanging out and sh- on show. And it's not things that you need to be thinking about when you're playing snooker. It's hard enough competing at the highest level without those sort of thoughts in your head. So I feel like that's gone now. I'm more comfortable out there. I can reach more shots because I'm obviously not as big. As, and just I just feel better in myself. And that obviously, if if that translates itself into better snooker, then happy days.